Good morning guys and welcome to another video full of shit. Uh, this is the third video on the sewer and uh, sewage pump install here at our house. Um, we had a septic system that had gone bad um, that we installed here in, uh, in my parents' house when they built it about 20 years ago. It started seeping up through the soil and it was kind of running off down through here, um, actually down over here. And it was obviously not a good situation, making everything wet, making everything smelly. So we are ripping out all those old lateral lines, um, tearing down the uh, septic tank and putting in a sewage pump. I've got a contractor doing a lot of that work. I'm doing the electrical, the grading, things like that. So uh, check out the last video for the first portion of that. In this video, uh, we're hopefully gonna be wrapping it up and getting everything installed and ready to go, collapsing the tank. Uh, it's still running through the septic right now and still draining in our yard over there, but we're wrapping things up and hopefully in the next couple days, we'll have it all tied in. Um, so far this morning, I've come out here and with our Bobcat over there, or our skid steer, um, gone and tried to grade some of this down a little bit, added some dirt and some low spots. That new sewer line that he ran coming from the house kind of comes down to where that old clean out was and runs right on top of where we're walking down over here and you can see the trench goes all the way it's going to go all the way down there to the mini excavator and i'll go down there real quick and show you the hole where we're going to be putting the tank for the sewage pump and by the way if you are new to the channel my name is kyle um, we recently just bought my childhood home that my parents built about 20 years ago and I uh, got a lot of projects that we're going to be doing in there. Do a lot of home theater uh, product reviews and DIY speaker builds and things like that as well. If that sort of stuff interests you, be sure to subscribe and uh, give me a comment down below of uh, how you think this is going so far. It's, it's pretty shitty if you ask me. We were up that direction, coming down to this pit here. Now that's about... That's about seven foot deep right now, um, maybe a bit more after you dig out those chunks. We're going to have to get down to at least eight foot deep. I believe 86 inches was about the minimum that we had to make it. Plus, we're going to throw some rock and some uh, some quick creek concrete down there. Just give it a nice base for that, uh, that holding tank to sit on. Um, I'll show you all that once we get that. We should be getting that tomorrow, but that inch and a quarter line is going to be the pressurized line. Uh, connecting into the tank and then that is running down our driveway um, I haven't shown you where it goes through the woods. I'll go show you that real quick quick about 50 foot down from where we were You had to put a splice in the line there. So that's what that looks like um, The run wasn't quite long enough to run all the way over our creek and up the hillside there But we'll follow this down into the woods. So we're almost at the low part of our driveway here There's a little creek that runs underneath it and on that side of the creek um, we have some utilities coming through and up the driveway as you can see our flags right there um, but this little guy runs into a larger creek which we'll see in just a moment we're gonna take a little walk through the woods here so that pressurized line is coming all the way through here and across our large creek over here and there is a main sewer line for the city running on the other side in the field that's over there as I almost trip jump across here so we still got to dig a little bit out there bury it down a little bit further obviously that is a little bit too close to the surface but they've already got the other side done and filled in and as you can see by the caution tape over there that is where the main sewer line is now I'll be hopefully showing you all of the final connections of everything um, as we do them. I do have to work at some point, but hopefully I'll be able to get out here with camera and show you guys all that. But for now, I'm gonna go back, start doing some backfilling and grading with the Bobcat.
So I didn't get a chance to film a whole lot yesterday dropping the pit in here or the, uh, the tank in here. Uh, but here's where it sits. This is the DH071 from E1 Pumps, um, E1 Extreme Series. Uh, this sucker is about eight foot tall. It's pretty big. It's a lot bigger than the original one that we planned on going with. And uh, the reason we decided to go with an E1 versus, I believe, Liberty was the first pump brand. Um, it was just the reputation that the E1s had. Um, obviously, this is this is a monster unit compared to what we were going to be putting in. It's also about three times the cost. Um, but we didn't want to run to issues down the road. It's got a grinder and a pump all built in there. It comes as a built unit. You don't have to install anything besides just hooking up the electrical um, and actually E1 comes out they verify everything set up correctly they go over everything with you they go over the warranty process with you so uh, pretty legit setup here hopefully this will give us zero issues for years to come and uh, we won't like I said won't have any issues won't have to spend any more money on it for a while but um, here it is I'll open up the uh, top here at some point show you the inside as well all right with the top off so you got a breather valve there and down inside here the uh, the actual tank doesn't start until down there this is just kind of an insulator up top here to make sure it doesn't freeze over uh, or anything like that it's got a diaphragm to let it know how full it gets and when to turn the pump on um, we have the four inch pipe coming in over here and then the inch and a quarter uh, coming out of the pump and then down the driveway that direction uh, you can pull this whole unit up if it ever needs to be serviced um, it's got your wiring down there to uh to hook up and that actually runs up the side and right out here for our hookup we'll um we've got a uh, post that we're going to be throwing that control panel on i'll show you all that once it is out here and set up uh, but that's the inside of the pump um i probably won't be out here showing them setting everything up just because i have to work but i'll show you the final connections once everything is done so we get the wiring finished up today if you remember in the wiring video i Ended it right there. I'm gonna run along the side of the house here. Gonna enter the ground here for the wiring. I've got a junction box that we're going to make the connection to to run down to the pump. After a week, we have the pump installed, but we are still not on city sewer. Um, fortunately, we ran into some issues. Um, everything seems to be working correctly here at the pump end. Everything I did worked out fine as far as the wiring. Here's the control panel. We have the 220 or, or 230 for the pump and then a 115 for the alarm and the, uh, the box here itself. Everything's wired up fine. Uh, I've actually had the pump company out a few times they've tested the pressure on the pump when it's running it's working well over its rated 80 psi that it should be doing and uh, and pushing water down the line um, we just have a hose hooked up by the house since the, uh, the the sewer isn't connected to this quite yet until we get it working properly had a hose running down the uh, the down drain or the downspout for the piping just coming here so it's clean water for us to work with um, we believe that there's something over at the city hookup or the city tap that's either being blocked or there possibly is a lot more pressure in that city sewer than what they let on. Um, we were dealing with only 80 PSI is uh, what we were told which this pump is rated for. Hopefully that's not the case that it's way over that. If it is we're gonna have to come up with something different down towards the the tap there and uh, overcome that pressure. I don't think that's it. I think probably there's something uh, blocking that tap for some reason. Um, so we're trying to get that figured out. The contractor's down there today digging it up and seeing if he can uh, get something figured out. So hopefully after today, it will all be working correctly, but uh, I will show you what happens along the way. All right, guys, after about four hours of troubleshooting, we think we got it, uh, which is super exciting to actually get this working, not have to throw any more money at it. Um, essentially, there were two things. Uh, the city main was higher pressure than what we thought it was. Uh, it was 
uh, he, he put a gauge on it and a pressure valve and it shot up to 100 very quickly and then busted the valve off the fitting. So it is well over 100 PSI down there. Um, what we have working for us is we are 30, 40 foot up in elevation. So we have all that water pressure going down into it to help overcome that pressure. Our second problem was it was severely airlocked down there by the valve, which we would have thought after 120 PSI, uh, you know, that we were reading up here at the pump, it would have pushed through and pushed that valve open. It was not doing so. Um, so he got a, a straighter valve, was able to connect it to the fitting down there, release that air pressure, and then everything's been working smooth ever since. We've ran it for probably 20, 30 minutes with the hose down from the house, and it's been flowing just fine. And actually, I'll show you the, the setup we had going on. Um, they put a different J pipe down there where it goes into that white tube. That's where it comes out of the pump and into our inch and a quarter piping or tubing that runs down the driveway. And the guy from the pump company here had this pressure gauge on that J-pipe. There's our J-pipe that should be on. Uh, this is specially fitted with a gauge. It was shooting up to 120, 130 PSI before the pump was turning itself off from, uh, from thermal cycling. Um, now that we have this all set up, we can turn it on. It's barely even showing any pressure um, on that pressure valve because, again, we don't have that airlock. We have all this elevation helping to push that water down. So thankfully, this solved our problem. He's up there connecting the sewer line to our house right now. So by the end of the day, we should have this up and running and hopefully no issues to come in the future. I'm going to show you where he's uh, connecting that up there and I'll show you everything once it's done. And now to test everything. And then makes its way down to the pump. Very fun today. This is honestly a huge weight lifted off our shoulders. We've been trying to troubleshoot this for over a week now. Finally got it figured out and working good. Finally got the house hooked up to it to where it's not leaking into our yard anymore. We can start the cleanup process. Uh, it's a good day. Four to six more days later. So it has been roughly a week since we got that pump working properly and got that airlock issue resolved. I think that was our main issue. Yes, the, the main line is a little bit more pressurized than what the city led on, but I don't think that was the main issue. It was that airlock issue. So got that taken care of. Pump hasn't alarmed out. It's been working flawlessly. Um, our contractor, Wilbur, did a great job throughout this entire process, I think. He put in some hours trying to get this uh, this pump working correctly. He got it figured out, got it working. So um, I will leave his information down in the description below if you guys are looking for a contractor for this sort of work. He is in the northern Kansas City, St. Joe area. So uh, definitely give him a call if you are needing something done like this. Uh, the next step from here, I've got a ton of dirt over here. This is about 250 bucket loads with our uh, skid steer. I'm gonna be using that along with some sand to fill in our septic tank up here, which I'll show you. We're gonna collapse this down, fill it with sand, fill it with uh, dirt, and um, after it's drained, get that all filled in. And also gonna be filling in down below where we pulled those lateral lines out. Um, obviously, there's a lot more dirt than what we need. But we also have just some general erosion issues back here behind the house and uh, we'd like to flatten out some areas so uh, a lot of grading and bobcat work ahead of me uh, i hope you guys enjoyed these videos um, like i said it's still a little bit more to come but i hope you found it helpful maybe learned something i know i definitely have throughout these videos and uh, throughout doing this process but i appreciate you guys watching life of bliss and i will see